channel. So today's video is going to be a very special one because it's going to be a dedicated video for LTR. So if you don't know what is LTR, LTR is basically a website that carries a lot of Korean and also Japanese makeup and also skincare. And today is their birthday. So happy birthday, LTR! And they will be having their celebration, birthday celebration with a lot of exciting activities going on. So I'm just gonna quickly read the special birthday celebration. And the first one is actually you're getting a limited edition birthday box and also a party. Ticket. And next, there will be a free goodies for the first 1,500 uh, customers And also, there will be a birthday giveaway and also an Instagram contest So if you guys don't know what Altia box look like, it actually look like this But this time, it's a very limited edition version These are the party kits that comes along with it So you can decorate and personalize for yourself And if you want to know what I purchased from Altia, Just keep watching so you guys know, have a better idea what what you want to buy later on and also do use my coupon code dainty dash i will leave it right here and also at the description box so you guys can get rm10 rigate off and also don't forget to subscribe like and also comment down below what future videos would you like to see and just keep watching so starting off i just want to show you my box right here and this is the ball so beautiful and all these uh card right here i stick it on so i have my own personalized birthday Altia box and it just come with a very beautiful birthday happy birthday right here and this just open up like this and as you can see, all these goodies are here. So now I'm just going to show you guys what I got for the Altia haul. And the first one is actually this one right here, which is the April Skin Magic Snow Cushion. It's a BB cushion, which is very popular in Korean and also Japanese makeup. And it looks like this. And it comes with a puff. And... You get your baby cushion here. I'm not gonna open it yet because I'm waiting to do a first impression review on this because this is so highly rave and I really want to see how good it is and also let you guys see my first impression. So the next product that I got is actually this one right here. I don't know if you can see or not but it's actually a lip tattoo which is very popular in Korean and also Japanese makeup and it just come in like a tube like this. As you can see right here, it's by the brand Bling Sum and all the price and also where you can get it from the LTI website, I will definitely put a link down in the description box so you guys no need to search so hard. So you just squeeze the product out as you can see, it's very saturated and after it dries, you can just peel it off and it will leave a very beautiful stain on the lips. I actually used this today with another lip tint on which I'm going to show you later. So far, I'm actually okay about it. I don't know how often I'm going to use this lip tattoo but it's actually very fun to try it out. So as I mentioned earlier about the tint which is actually this tint right here from Etude Heart which is the Dear Darling Lip Tint. And I really like the scent of this product. First of all, it smells like very subtle great scent which I really, really like it actually. And also it gives a very nice uh, tint. Okay, as you can see right here. It's not too pigmented compared to the lip tattoo but for the like the no makeup makeup days, it's actually very suitable so I really really like it. So the next product I'm going to talk about is actually a beauty sponge right here and it's just say it's my magic sponge as you can see right there but I don't know is it very magical because my first thought of this when I just got it is actually super dense like it's so hard and it's not as soft as the beauty blender and when I after I wet it, it actually expands and it doesn't feel as soft so it's actually quite a pain to really blend out the foundation and also with this sponge, I feel that the foundation really gets soaked up by this sponge and also this sponge really sheer out the foundation so if you like that those that very natural sheer foundation look, this sponge actually might work for you if you like those dense uh, sponge but for me, I really don't recommend this because it's just too dense and not as soft as the Beauty Blender. So the next product that I got and I'm gonna talk about is the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask as you can see right here. It comes in a very nice recycled box packaging and also there you have your tub right here 
and it just opens up like this and you can see it's a very nice soft wait the cover as you can see it's a very nice soft clay so it just feels like this and it's a very smooth clay mask not like the Sephora clay mask Sephora clay mask has a, a bit texture into it so it does exfoliate your skin but this is mainly to really bring out all the gunk on your face and really smoothens your pores and it really does smoothens your pores so if you have any pore problem or you just want to really deep cleanse your skin to pull out all the dirty things from your pores try this product out it's actually very good so the next product that I got is actually another skincare product for your eye and by the brand Petifi I don't know how you pronounce this but something like that Go E G F Eye and Spot Patch So it says that Offer your parched skin an intensity bright infusion of moisture plus vital nutrients and experience the dramatic firming and cooling result you thought only a professional spa treatment could deliver so it would deliver a spa treatment and it just come a tub like this it's a very interesting product so you just want to open it Wait. there's a ring in the center like there's a circle so there's a patch right here as you can see, wait, let me put that down. As you can see, it's just a patch right here, so you can actually put it on your problem areas and it actually helps to brighten the skin and also makes it much more hydrating. And it feels so soft. Like it feels so small, soft. And it also smells very good. So you can put it under your eye and also with this uh, ring light, you can put it on the specific area that you really want to brighten and also moisturize your skin. And the next product right here I want to show you guys is this very cute panda right here and it is from Tony Moni and it is the Panda's Dream Brightening Eye Base as you can see right there. And it just comes in a so cute packaging like come on, how cute is this packaging so... It just, oh, so sorry. <laughs> so the applicator comes like this. It's actually a white base. So I tried it just now before I applied my makeup and it actually really brightens up the area. So I'm okay with it, but I'm going to test it out more and let you guys know. And also, I just want to let you guys know all the updates that I usually do for my hauls are actually at my Instagram so check out my Instagram at dainty-beauty to know more of my updates so it just comes in a very white kind of feeling and you just blend it it's a very smooth texture and also I feel that it's perfect uh, before putting your concealer because it's actually a brightening and because of the texture it's very smoothing so I feel that it really fills in your fine lines so your concealer does apply much more smoother and definitely try it out and it's come on it's so cute and also last but not least a product right here which is a under eye brightener is basically a concealer so by the brand Misha the style, I guess so. But this concealer right here is super tiny, as you can see. It's like it's just a palm of my size, and just the palm of my size, the size of my palm. Okay, so it's actually not my shade at all because it's super light, as you can see right here. But I actually surprisingly can work under my eye. I use it just now. And it really works so well. I really like this concealer a lot. And it also has so good reviews on the website. And I think this, when I got this, I don't know which is on sale or what, it's only 15 ringgit. Like, 15 ringgit for a concealer is not bad at all. So the texture is actually like this. And you're just gonna smooth it out and see how pigmented and full coverage that is. It's very good. And it blends so beautifully on the skin. Like, can you guys even see? Like, okay, just see. 
it bends so beautiful in your skin. One thing that you really want to pick up for Altia, definitely get this concealer right here. It's very good and I feel that it doesn't crease under the my fine lines as bad. And also, it because of the shade, it's a bit lighter than my skin, so it gives a very highlighted effect. So that's it for my Altia haul. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And also, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any in-depth review that you want to know more about. And I guess that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.